Hi guys and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to work with box sets in the My Movies for iPhone and iPad application. So in the video here I'm going to use my box sets back to the view tutorialogy as an example. You can see here that it has some icons behind it uh, indicating that this is a box set title. If I open this up, it says here connected items and it says that it includes three other disc titles. So if I click this, I can see that the three movies in uh, in the box set is displayed here. These movies will have the same cover art as the movie box set itself. Um, this depends on the actual box set. If you had a box set where there were individual cases in the box um, with individual cover art, this would be, would be shown here. Uh, but this box set in particular has uh, the same uh, cover art for, for the entire box and uh, and the individual movies are just uh, inside uh, the box as discs. So if I back out from the collection here and I go into settings, we have some options for uh, how to display box sets. I'll just open the box set settings here. And you can see here that by default there is an option that is enabled that says nest disk title box sets. If I disable this, another option comes uh, comes in as an, as an option to choose. It says display box set container. What I've done now is that I've changed my collection so that it won't display uh, my box sets as one item. It will uh, display them as individual items. And then the box set container is is a separate item in the collection, and you can choose whether you want to watch, uh, want to view that as well in the collection. Typically, don't, you don't want to do that. But uh, let's go back into uh, to the collection and see how it looks now. You can see right now I have uh, back to the future trilogy, the actual box set container here, and I have the three different movies in uh, in the box set displayed as well. And uh, if I just go back into uh, to settings and into box sets and uncheck the display box set container back out to the collection you'll see that I now just have the three individual movies I don't have the container shown anymore and uh, my guess is that you typically choose to uh, to either display uh, titles as uh, as individual titles um, or you choose to have them nested as a box set. Going back into settings and into box sets, you'll see that there's an option here saying box set import. Let's say that you've built your collection using uh, our prior application uh, for iPhone and iPad where box set was not supported. Uh, you would potentially in your collection have uh, a lot of titles where you have just the box set container, you don't have any of the child titles. So using this function it can uh, the system can can uh, can query our online service and determine if you have any parent titles where uh, the child titles are missing you will get a list of uh, of titles to add so you can choose which ones to add and which ones you you don't want to add but uh, we recommend that you you run this uh, to to get your c collection fully populated with uh, with box set titles so the box sets here has to be entered into our service as box sets. This means that you may potentially have some box sets in the application that are not shown as box sets, even when you have this option enabled. This has to do with the data in uh, in our online service, and uh, if the data there is is not created specifically as a box set, it won't be displayed in the application as a box set. But for the majority of your box set, they should be displayed correct as a box set, and over time, uh, box sets should uh, be. Uh, better populated in the in the online service as well. And be aware that you can always uh, take part of, uh, of creating box sets in the service by using our Windows or Mac application and contribute the box sets to the service. So this concludes the video on how to use box sets in the MyMovies application. Thank you for watching.